got eight and a half ounce heat tempered glasses. We use these to make the famous Huber Spanish coffee here in Portland, Oregon. I'm rimming them both with lime juice and sugar. The sugar is going to be caramelized or cooked by the fire for flavor. The fire is going to be fueled by the vapors of this 151 proof, 75.5% alcohol, virgin olive oil. Wow! Point three quarters of an ounce. That's all we need to fire this up. Any liquor that contains over 52% alcohol will ignite at room temperature. So the 75.5% more than enough. Splash, triple sec, orange liqueur, you may have had four margaritas. Should we call the fire department? No, I've been doing this for a couple years so far. No, this place is still standing. I think we're fine. <laughs> We've been, uh, Spanish coffee has been around since 1975 here in uh, Cuba, so if there was an issue with the fire department, I think they would have shut us down by now. Can we just call them because we're cute? I should be one, shouldn't I, if I was that cute? <laughs> Quite handsome. Thank you, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, look at that. I need, I need a good floral brisket. Wow, today. very good. Thank you very Excellent. much. Okay, so using that fire, which is feeding off the alcohol vapor mm -hmm. from the rum, yeah, to uh, warm the glass, heat the glass rather, and caramelize that sugar, as I said, for flavor. You could be a magician too, with sleight of hand, kind of Definitely. going on. An illusionist. No, I'm just an alchemist. This is all chemistry. Definitely. Science is cool. Sure is. But, and it's tasty too. Yes, it is. Kahlua, it's a Mexican coffee liqueur, which Huber's Cafe here in Portland, Oregon, is the largest independent user of Kahlua in the United States. Wow. We've had that reputation for several decades. There are a couple of awards behind the bar as recognition of the use of their product. Wow. Ounce and a quarter. I didn't four. know that. Yes. That's in a quarter four of this Mexican coffee liqueur, which did you also know that Kahlua contains both alcohol and caffeine in a coffee liqueur. A lot of people don't keep that into account, especially when I'm pouring French roast coffee. And at any time you care for more complimentary creamer coffee, do let us know. How come the glass doesn't crack when you pour the hot sauce? It does. Like it will if I, if I let it burn long enough. It's heat tempered. Very good. Thank you. So that means it's denser. Heat produces pressure, and that pressure works against the infrastructure of the glass. This is nutmeg, a dash of butter, pot of cream. So the longer I let it burn, the hotter it gets, the hotter it gets, the more pressure works against the glass's infrastructure. If I let it continue to burn, it will eventually will crack. You may see that coming off and then you will see it. Careful, this is hot and strong. Grab it by the stem of the glass like a flower. Cheers to you. All Enjoy. right. You're very welcome. Do you feel the heat on your hand? Yes, I do, but it is tolerable up to a point. So, as I said, the longer it burns, the hotter it gets. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, here you go.